Good morning, Vedant. Good morning, Shreyash. Let's recap what we have gone through in yesterday's session. So we were going through, rather we have gone through first, so the Buddhism, some part left, right, especially that is of curiosities. So there were six universities as Nalanda, Odantpuri, Vikramshila, Somapuri, Jagdal, and Wallabi. So Nalanda is at Badgao in Bihar, which was founded by Kumar Gupta, who was Gupta ruler, and Odantpuri, which is at Bihar. Sharif in Bihar, which was founded by Gopala, who was a Pala ruler. Then third university, Vikramshila, which is at Bagalpur, again in Bihar, which was founded by Dharmapala, who was Pala ruler. Fourth one. Somapuri, which was uh, at North Bengal. Again, it was founded by Dharmapala. Jagdal in Bengal, established by Rampala, who was again the Pala ruler. And Wallabi in Gujarat, it was founded by Bhattarka, by a Maitrek ruler. So this is what about the universities. Then later on, it's a Buddhist councils, the different Buddhist councils. So the first Buddhist council was convened in 483 BC at Saptaparni in uh, Rajagraha, right, the patron of this particular Buddhist council was Ajat Shatru. So it was resulted into the compilation of Sutta Pitaka and Vinay Pitaka. Right. So these were the two, some of the two literatures of Buddhism. Right. Then second Buddhist council which was convened in 383 BC at Vaishali. Whose patron was Kala Shoka. And it had resulted into the monks of Vaishali wanted some change in the part of associated with the second buddhist council third buddhist council which was convened in 250 bc at patliputra it was patronized by ashoka and its results were the compilation of abhidhamma pitaka right, which was again one of the literatures of buddhism and again the decision has been taken to send mission Parts of the world, right? So that is what you can consider about the third uh, Buddhist council, right? So, in which Ashoka's son and daughter had gone to the Sri Lanka.
just a minute. Okay, so then there was fourth Buddhist council, which had been uh, at Kundal one in Kashmir, whose patron was Kanishka, and the results of fourth Buddhist council were the compilation of Mahavibha Sha Shastra, right? One of the Sanskrit uh, text of Buddhism. And in this, there was decision of the division of Buddhism into two sects as Hinayana and Mahayana. Right, Hinayana by South India, right, or the South of India and uh, Mahayana by North of India. Right. There had been Fifth Buddhist Council as well, which was in 1871 at uh, Mandalay in Burma. Whose king was uh, whose patron was the king Minden, and the last Buddhist council you can consider that is sixth Buddhist council in 1954. So it was at Kaba I in Yangun, that is in Burma, which was patronized by government of Burma. Still, there was decline of Buddhism. Why it had been because it was succumbed to the rituals and ceremonies. Uh, it gave up on Pali and took Sanskrit. That had been also resulted into decline of its decline of Buddhism. Then it began to practice uh, idol worship and. They have received numerous offerings which had become or uh, it had a reason of the corruption. Then the monasteries came under the domination and became the center of corrupt practices. Right. So again, development of Vajrayana, one of the uh, one of the sects of Buddhism that right, had also caused the decline of Buddhism. Then the Buddhist came to look upon women as object of lust. Right? So that was also one of the reasons it had been declined. Some of the noteworthy points or the point to be noted, you can consider in which Ashoka Ashoka, who had been the greatest patron of Buddhism, sent a mission, as I said, including his son, Mahendra, and daughter, Sangamitra, to Sri Lanka in order to spread Buddhism. Then Kanishka, in the four, you know, who, who had convened fourth uh, Buddhist council. He had sent mission to China, Korea, and Japan. Then the Palas of Bengal and Bihar were the last.
uh, the, the point to be noted, that is Palas, who were uh, Palas of Bengal and Bihar, who were the last great patrons of Buddhism. Right. And later on, we have also gone through some, some of the things related to Jainism, another uh, religious movement you can consider, right? Contemporary to Buddhism. So Jainism believes in 24 Tirthankaras, but uh, there is no, uh, what, what I can consider, so no historical, historicity of earlier 22 Tirthankaras, right? So the historicity of the first 22 Tirthankaras was ambiguous, which was very difficult right, to trace out. So that is the case you can consider right. so but uh, the historical evidences are there for the last two Tirthankaras that is uh, the Parshwanath that is 23rd and Vardhaman Mahavir 24th so Mahavira was contemporary to Buddha. The historical proofs are available or are, are, are there for only last two Tithankaras, as I said. Right. So who was the Parshwanath? Parshwanath was the prince of Banaras who had abandoned the throne and led the life of hermit. Right. So that is what you can consider about Parshwanath. And then about Vardhaman Mahavira, so, who born in Kundagram, which is in Muzaffarpur of Bihar, in 599 uh, BC. Right. See, uh, again in this case, you, you will be having two different dates. One, in, according to history, it is 540 BC and traditionally it is 599 BC. Anyway, uh, his father is his father was Siddharth, right, of Nyatrika Kshatriya clan, uh, which was under the Vajji at of Vaishali, and his mother Trishala, right, who was uh, the sister of King of Vaishali. Right. So then he had a daughter. He, he married to Yeshodhara, Yeshodha, not Yeshodhara and had a daughter called Priyadarshani who married to Jamali and later on Jamali had become the first disciple of Mahavira. So at the age of 30, uh, after the death of his father, he renounced his family and became an ascetic. Right, became an ascetic and proceeded in the search of truth. So at the age of 42nd, 43rd, you can 13 plus, uh, 30 plus, okay, 42nd. So at the age of 42nd uh, of, of, of um, ascetism, right, or 13th year of ascetism, he attained the supreme knowledge. Right, it was under a Sal tree right, at Zambik Gram on the bank of river Riju Palika. Bank of river Riju Palika. Right. So he had attained Kaivali, that is called supreme knowledge. Right. He was called later on as Jain Mahavir Aryant. I can add here one more name. Jitendra Jitendriya right. and his followers were called Jains. Right. So at the age of uh, 72 he died at Pava, the disease, Patna, right, in 527. Right. So this was what we have covered earlier. Right. 
Now, he has delivered his first sermon at Pava to his 11 disciples. Whereas, uh, you must remember that Buddha had delivered it at Sarna to his five disciples. Fine. So, these 11 disciples are known as 11 Gandhars or 11 Gandhavas. Later, he founded a Jain Sangha, also known as Jain Commune at Pava. Right. So, uh, then after his death, right, only one of 11 Gandharvas, whose name was Sudharma, survived after death of Mahavira. Right. So, this is the uh, point you can always consider about the life of Mahavi. So here obviously comes in the doctrines of Jainism. That's as like doctrines of Buddhism. Fine. So first I will consider delivered is First sermon at Pava, right? To his eleven disciples, to his eleven disciples, right? These were known as eleven. Gandharas or Gandharvas. Gandharvas. Eleven Gandharvas. Right. So later he found it. He found it a Jain. Sangha Jain Sangha, it was also called as Jain Commune. It was also called as Jain Commune. Fine, it was again at Pava. Now comes in about the doctrine of Jainism, doctrines of Jainism, doctrines of Jainism. So there we have considered four different doctrines, right? Dukkha, Samudha, Nirad, Nirodha, right? And the completely stopping right so here you have three doctrines which are called three ratna three ratna right so it is also called as there it was called four truths right so here it is called three gems of jainism three gems of Jainism. Right. So the aim of existence is to attain through the three ratna. And what, what you can consider there, you know, life is full of dukkha, but it can be stopped, it can be seized, right? It can be completely stopped. Right? Rather, there are there have a way. So the, these were the different things. Here, very first one is Samyak Shraddha, that is called Vishwas. Or you can consider right fat. Right. So first one is Samyak Shraddha. 
सम्यक श्रद्धा इट कॉल्ड विश्वास और यू कैन द राइट फेथ राइट फेथ so this is the belief of tirthankaras that it is a belief of tirthankaras and what to do by these uh, three three ratmas so if anybody wants till then you can have the help of these three three ratmas the aim of existence is to attain the uh, to attain through the three ratma right so that is what you can consider the next one okay done Can I help you? The second of these three ratmas is samyak gyan. Samyak gyan called right knowledge. called right knowledge so it is the knowledge of the jain creed right knowledge of jain creed jain creed and third one is samyak karma सम्यक कर्म राइट और आचरण आचरण इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द राइट एक्शन और द कॉन्डक्ट राइट कॉन्डक्ट राइट सो इट इज नथिंग बट इट इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द फाइव वोज ऑफ जैनिज्म what it is is a practice of the five pose of jainism practice of five pose of jainism so what are these five woes of jainism which are also called as pancha mahavartas pancha maha vartas pancha mahavartas right that is five os of jainism five os of jainisms now see among these five os of jainism four os or the first four were set by parshnath right and among these four so all these four main teachings you can consider fine so all these were adopted by mahavira and he had added one more to it that is last one right so all together it becomes five right all together it becomes five so first were by the parshnath 
So first one is Ahimsa. So what are the five O's of Jainism? So first one is Ahimsa. Right. That is non-violence or non-injury. Right. Non-injury. Second one is Satya. Second one is Satya. Second one is Satya, which is called non-lying. Third one is Asteya. Third one is Asteya. That is non. Do not steal. So non stealing. Fourth one is Apari Graha. Non position. Apari. Graha, non possession, non possession. So, as I said, so these four O's, right? So, laid down by Parshwanath, right? 23rd Tirthankar Parshwanath. Right, and the last one called Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya called it is called chastity. Right, so it was by Mahavira. It was by Mahavira. So, Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Aparigraha, and Brahmacharya. So, there had been Astanga mark, right? Right observation, right. Uh, so, all the right, right, right from observation to the action, right? So, this is what you can always consider. Now, here there have been different types of Brahmacharya. You can uh, simply uh, Keep in mind or remember that is Brahmacharya. Right. Then there have been different types of knowledge. Right. So altogether, I think five types or types of knowledges. Types of knowledge. Right. 